Hi, I'm Carlos Verdi and welcome to CCHL Network on the Fly. There were two Game 1s in Wild Card Series on the docket yesterday afternoon. The Smiths Falls Bears were taking on the Nepean Raiders in the first game of the 7-10 matchup out at the Smiths Falls Memorial Center. And a broken penalty box door at the Earl Armstrong Arena delayed Game 1 between the number 8 seed Gloucester Rangers and the number 9 seed Kempville 73s yesterday in Gloucester for two hours as they took a while, but they did get the game in. We'll start in Smith's Falls at the Smith's Falls Memorial Center, where the number 7 seed Bears were taking on the number 10 seed Nepean Raiders. The Raiders won the season series between the two teams 3-2, to two, and Francis Marat would get the start between the pipes for Peter Goulet's Raiders team. Opposing him in net for the hosts between the pipes was going to be Michael Pinios for Mark Grady's team. Without further ado, let's take it away to the Smith's Falls. Head to the late second, Corey Tam's point shot stopped, and Luke McCaw, Johnny on the spot, burying the rebound, 1-0 Raiders at that point. However, halfway through the third, Taylor Henry pounces on a loose puck, he beats Marat, glove side, we're all tied up at one, this one would need overtime, and in that overtime, the Raiders, the number 10 seed, the lowest seeded team in the playoffs, making it happen, and it's Chad Malinowski that's going to get credit as he drives wide and just sneaks it through Pineos. And in the 8 versus 9 matchup, now the Gloucester Rangers taking on the Kempville 73s at the Earl Armstrong Arena in Gloucester. Season series went 3-2 to the Rangers, however both teams kind of stumbled their way into the back door of the playoffs having lost 3 in a row, so something had to give at the Armstrong Arena. First period, Jaron Burke's going to take a pass from Joey Fallon in over the blue line, takes the pass and Nicholas Hodgins is going to want that one back. 9.34 in, 1-0 Gloucester lead on home ice in game one of this wild card series. Then, still in the first, off a Matt Fogut draw win, the puck is going to fall to Zach Borsois. Borsois is going to hold and rip through traffic. Max Verano gets credit for the tip in front. 2-0 Gloucester at that point. Here's Mike Nellis, the voice of the Rangers, on their third goal. And Fallon quickly comes away. Trying to get an on-man chance for the Rangers. To the net. Burke can't get it off. Back catch up. Rebound. They score. What an effort from Joey Fallon. He starts the rush and finishes it. Two minutes later, Kempville would draw one back, courtesy of Justin Hasbeek. His one-timer cut the deficit to two. And despite a pair of goals in the third period, Kempville couldn't come back. 5-3 Gloucester take game one.